Welcome to Family in Fijan. In this very very powerful video of exponential equations, we are going to solve sin i x equal to 1 plus i whole power 21 over 1 minus i whole power 17. In this video, we will use complex number, we will use Euler's identity, we will use exponent and its properties or laws and then we will conclude our result. So, let's get started by writing RHS first. So, RHS is 1 plus i whole power 21 divided by 1 minus i whole power 17. I can split the numerator and denominator exponents in this manner 1 plus i whole power 20 times 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i whole power 16 1 minus i. Okay, now I can write 1 plus i whole power 20 as 1 plus i whole square whole power 10 okay, times 1 plus i. Similarly, in the denominator, we can split 1 minus i whole square whole power 8 times 1 minus i. Okay. Now expand the squares. So I will write 1. 1 square is 1 plus i square plus 2i whole power 10 divided by 1 plus i square minus 2i whole power 8. And 1 plus i over 1 minus i as it is. Okay, now we know that the complex number, let me write here, i is equal to square root of negative 1 or i square is equal to negative 1. So, I can cancel i square and 1 because i square is negative 1 in denominator also. So, what I will have, it will be 2i whole power 10 divided by minus 2i whole power 8 times 1 plus i over 1 minus i. Okay. Now negative 1 with even power that would be plus 1. So denominator it will split. I will split 2 raised to the power 10 i power 10 divided by 2 raised to the power 8 i power 8 times 1 plus i over 1 minus i. Okay. Now see what would be the value of 1 plus i over 1 minus i. We can calculate this value separately. So I will calculate here. I will rationalize it. 1 plus i over 1 minus i. So the denominators conjugate that is 1 plus i, I will multiply in the numerator and denominator. Okay, let's do it. So, it is 1 plus i whole square. So, 1 plus i square plus 2i in the numerator. In denominator, it is difference of square. a square minus b square, a plus b minus a plus b times a minus b. So, I will write here a square minus b square. So, it would be 1 square minus i square. So, 1 minus 1 plus 2i divided by 1 plus 1. So, this will be over and denominator is 2, numerator is 2i. So, let me write directly i. Okay. So, what is our final expression value, RHS value? Let me write here. So, I can cancel. I will write here 2 raised to the power 2 is left i raised to the power 2 is left and this one is i. Okay, check this value. This is 4 times i square is minus 1 i. In totality, I can write minus 4 i. Our right hand side, this value is minus 4 i. Okay, now let's talk about LHS. 
so i will begin with euler's identity very very powerful euler's identity and i will give once again one substitution let me begin with e raised to the power i theta that would be cos theta plus i sin theta e raised to the power minus i theta cos theta minus i sin theta see my target is sin so i am going to take away second equation from one so i will get if i will subtract i will subtract both the equations so i will get in rhs i will have 2i sin theta in lhs i will have e raised to the power i theta minus e raised to the power minus i theta so from here i am going to collect sin theta sin theta would be e raised to the power i theta minus e raised to the power minus i theta over 2i okay that would be divided with 2i now you can see sin theta is there but our target is ix so i will replace theta with ix so rhs is minus 4i and i am going to replace this theta with ix so i will write let me write sin theta is equal to e power i theta minus e power minus i theta over 2i okay now replace theta with ix so sin ix would be e raised to the power i times ix minus e raised to the power minus i ix over 2i now i will be having e power i square so let me write here e raised to the power minus x minus e raised to the power minus i square so plus so that's why it would be e power x only over 2i now our rhs what we calculated that value was negative 4i let me write here so our final equation converted into minus e raised to the power x over 2i equal to negative 4i okay now cross multiply this so i will get e raised to the power minus x minus e raised to the power x is equal to minus 8i square multiply both sides by 2i so it will become minus 8i square and i square is negative 1 so let me write here negative 1 so it will become 8 so equation is only minus x minus e raised to the power x is equal to 8 now i will give substitution it is obvious if i will consider e raised to the power x is equal to t or y then this equation will become 1 over t minus t equal to 8 multiply by t so it equation will convert 1 minus t square equal to 8t or take all the terms to write 8 square plus 8t minus 1 equal to 0 okay remember our substitution because at last we are going to substitute t equal to e power x this is something very important now let me write this quadratic equation t square plus 8t minus 1 equal to 0 now i will solve using quadratic formula because this is quadratic equation minus b so minus 8 plus minus is square root b square so 64 minus 4ac so plus 4 over 2a so 2 minus 8 it would be square root 68 over 2 we know that it is 4 times 17 so let me write minus 8 plus minus 2 root 17 over 2 ultimately it will come out negative 4 plus minus 
root 17 and this is t t was our substitution it was e power x okay now we know that root 17 is 4.1231 okay if i will put the value here then it will give us e raised to the power x will come out i am writing that direct value see it is minus 4 plus 4 point this much so i will get 0 0.1231 and if i will take negative sign minus 4 minus 4.1231 then i will get negative 8.1231 now you can see exponential is positive that means real solution is about to come and exponential is coming out negative that means complex solution will confirmly come okay so only need to take ln both sides once i will take ln both sides so x ln e that would be equal to ln of 0 0.1231 and second solution ln of negative 8.1231 okay ln e is equal to 1 this value is 1 so x with real solution if you will take nt log then it will come out minus 2.09471 let me write this much this is our real solution and for complex solution or imaginary solution we can consider the general solution means 2k pi we have to add so once you will add from the sine x equation then you will get minus 2.0947 plus 6.2832 i and times k where k belongs to integer okay so this is our complex solution and this is the only real solution we are having by putting k equal to 0 1 minus 1 minus 2 and so on we will get infinite complex solutions so there are one real and this one general complex solution i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video if you like it then please let me know